We got, we got the guy that's blowing up all over YouTube right now. Have you ever been kicked out of a lake before? Not yet. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think we got a drop shot fish. That, oh, he's not bad either. Listen to that drag run. Oh, God, it feels like a better one. Don't throw the hook. Don't throw the hook. Hey, look at that belly. Like a football. Woo, I'm all wet now, yes. What's up, everybody? We are back. We're going yakking today. Oh. Is that a second kayak right there? I believe so. Cause we got we got the guy that's blowing up all over YouTube right now. You've probably seen him on TikTok, Larry Melton Jr. I'm gonna put him on some fish today. We're gonna go down here, it's a little private lake, but you, you know, I, I got the hook up. I, I, know, I know how to weave our way around these private lakes. You ever been kicked out of a lake before? Not yet, but. Well, maybe. we're not gonna, we're not, we're hopefully we're not gonna try today. We're not gonna start that today. We're gonna go hit the water. I don't know what we're gonna be using today, but based on the conditions, top water should be choice this morning so we've got a couple lures tied on for top water and uh we gotta we gotta haul our kayaks all the way down there so this is going to be quite a journey uh let's go see if we can hook into some bigs that's that's, that's what i'm gonna try to do we gotta hook into some bigs let's go you making it slowly but surely all right we're both successfully in the water and I don't know if I said this in my intro, but we I have not been out here in like a year and a half, so I don't really know exactly all the key areas, but it's basically just, we're at the, the widest part of the pond down here. It's really not a pond, it's kind of a small lake, but it goes up that way. There's a creek that feeds in up there. This is the dam. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see if we can get on some fish. All right, so we're gonna try to pattern them. See if we can't figure something out. So I think I'm gonna be switching back I got some search baits here. I got a good crank bait. I got a walking bait. Then I've got a drop shot and a, I think it's a Texas rig, maybe a shaky hip. It's definitely a Texas rig tied on. Um, and we're gonna see if I can't find where some of these fish are holding. Oh, I got a little baby already. Look at this little thing. Just a little baby. Little baby largy. I mean, little, little dinker. We catch them bigger in my little pond. I mean, I'm telling you. Thanks, buddy. First fish of the day, like second cast for that crankbait. Crankbait may be the deal. I saw you chasing it. All right, so we had a little bass just chase me. So I think there's some bass on this tree. I got a little bit of the evidence. He looked to be about a pound. But if he's coming out and chasing it, that may mean that there's a couple stacked on this tree. So, we're gonna take out our worm now that we've, we've spotted one. We're gonna see if we can't get him to bite. Oh, what I tell you? Found him. What I tell you? What did I tell you? Slow down with that worm. Got him. He is a spotted bass. There you go. Upgraded a little bit, but that's a spotted bass. We had a largey, the first one, that's a spotted bass. Really pretty. I mean, just super white belly. A little bit of a broken line there. He's got the little spot on his tongue. And spots will have those little spots right there on the bottom. You'll see those one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. They have little spots, and plus they just look like a torpedo. They're just built a little bit differently than a largey. What a fun fish, though. They're a mean little fish. Mean little fish, they are. He's going, watch, he's going. I mean, they're just mean, man. They're a different breed, boss. They're a different breed. That's not a fish, don't worry. It's not a fish. I think I just got stuck in a, like the V of a, a limb there. go like you know like a v and i had the thing running there no anybody nobody knows what okay nobody knows what i'm talking about 
All right, I think I'm gonna transition back to my search bait, which is going to be the crankbait in this case. Because I have not had any luck once I found those two fish with the crankbait and caught them with the worm. So I think we're gonna have to go back to a moving bite and see if we can't find them again. Oh, I got one. He's still on. There he goes. He just swam toward me. He's about to jump out of the boat. I'm telling you, these spots are mean. Dang, are they mean. Again, not a giant, but aggressive. Just hit it as soon as it hit the water. It's fish number four. I really like, this thing is thick. He's a fat little buddy. He doesn't have a tummy, but he's a fat little buddy. I really want an upgrade. I want like a, at least a two pound spot would be nice. Thanks bud. Oh, that feels like a better one. Don't throw the hook. Don't throw the hook. Oh. That's a better fish. Bro, chill out. You got troubles all in your mouth. That's a better fish. That's a much better fish. I'll take that one all day long. That's a largey, that is not a spot. Nice fish, real thick back on him. A little bit of a, the belly's still a little spawned out from this uh, spring. Man, what a good fish. Yes. Got that one done on the bandit crankbait. Thing came out and just smoked it. Oh yeah, she's biting me. She's telling me she's ready. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How many are you at? One. Okay. We got one. We're on the board. I really think you're gonna have better luck on this back wall. The last one I caught was probably a two pounder. He was all right. And he was a large mouth. He wasn't a spot. But he hit the crankbait. Yeah, I think if you throw a crankbait and start bouncing it off all those trees back there, I think you'll probably have some decent luck. I mean, you're not going to catch a mess of them, but, you know, every probably 30 minutes you'll get one. All right, so Larry is on his first fish. I told him he'd probably be fishing a crankbait on that back wall. That's what I got at least three of my bites on. And I have a feeling he'll, he'll get a few more here. I'm gonna, me and him are basically crisscrossing here. We're swapping sides. We'll take a worm and I'm gonna fish up this grass and see if I can't get maybe one or two more. But all in all, I've had a pretty good day so far. <sighs> Got him. I ran over a stick and I thought, no, that's, that's fish, no, that's stick. And then I came off that stick and voila little tiny spotted bass. I mean, a tiny sucker. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Thanks, bud. I just got swiped at hardcore. That was definitely not a branch or nothing. That was a fish. Don't know how he missed it, but he missed it. See if we can't pick him off with a worm. Got him. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. He's a better one. He's a better fish. He's a better fish. Get in here. Largy. Largy. All right, folks, that is a decent little fish right there. Really nice fish. We are upgrading. Look, got a pot belly on him. He is uh, fed back up. Look at the spots on his tail. Beautiful fish. Really nice fish. That's a two plus pounder for sure. Uh, probably pushing three. It's the bigger one of the day. The other one may have been longer, but this one, this one's, look at that. This one. 
This one's got the belly. Look at that belly. Like a football. Dang tank. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Right off that tree, like I said, I threw the crankbait and got swiped at. And uh, I backed up off that tree once I realized it was a tree through the worm in there because I got swiped at it. You know, it told me, hey, there's a fish there. Boom. A nice, a nice largy. Let's let her go. Woo, I'm all wet now, yes. I'll take it, I'll get, I'll look, soak me all you want, I don't care, as long as you're that size, all day. All right, so I'm over deep water now, I'm putting down the crankbait because it ain't gonna get down far enough. And we are going with a drop shot. Drop shot with a little Guggen baits, I believe that is a green pumpkin pearl. Yes, indeed it is. We're just gonna let that puppy sink on down to the bottom. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think we got a drop shot fish. I, oh, he's not bad either. Listen to that drag run. Not a bad little spot. He's a spotted bass. Those spotted bass love drop shots. See if I can get him in here without losing him. There we go. All right, folks, there you go. Look how pretty that fish is. Again, it's a spot, you can tell he's got the little rough tongue. He's got a little rough spot on his tongue. He's got those little dots right there on the bottom. Just one, two, three, he's only got three. He's got right on the bottom of his jaw. And you can just see, it's a fragmented lateral line. They're a little bit lighter in color. They've also got those little stripes. Oh my goodness, those little, just little spots. And torpedo shaped. You know, the largemouth we caught had a more of a pot belly. These are torpedo shaped. That's a nice one. Littler mouth too. But gosh, they are a mean little fish. They are a mean fish. All right, buddy. See, they just, they got a whole different way about them. They, they're, they're, they're bad. Those fish, they bad. So as you can tell, I am not anywhere near the water because I have lost the outro to this video. Like I was just editing it literally in the other room right now, Saturday night. This video is being released tomorrow at noon on Sunday and I've got no outro. So I thought I'd do it right here. Um, first, I want to break down what I was doing in the video. If you, if you weren't able to pick up on it, because I caught a lot of fish in the video and I tried to put as many of them in there and break it down as I could. But what I was doing is I was using a search bait and then slowing down with a like a bottom bait, like a soft plastic worm. My search bait for that day was a pearl white bandit with red eyes, bandit 200 series, favorite crankbait that y'all know we use all the time on this channel. Um, but you could have done that with a chatter bait. You could have really done it with any moving bait, just as long as you cover water. And once you locate them, you slow down with what I was doing was a Texas rig, a little biospawn exo ribbon in sprayed grass color with a Guggen squad hammer hook. Threw it right in there and was plucking fish off what ended up being timber. It was, the, the bite was consistently on timber. Um, every big bite I got was on timber. Uh, we got the big one on the crank and then we got a, a pretty decent one on the exo ribbon and got a pretty decent spot on the Guggen Baits drag and drop um, fishing it in a little bit deeper water by the dam. So it was a fun day. It's a super easy technique that any of y'all can follow. Just throw a moving bait out there. Then once you find them, slow it down with a little bit of a soft plastic bite. As for the collab, Larry, I don't know is gonna have a video for this. Um, he did hook into two fish that day, but he was never actually able to get them in the boat with him. And so I don't know that he's gonna have a video for that. Um, but I enjoyed myself out there. I caught a lot of fish. Hopefully you guys learned something. A different way to cover water and find, a lot of people say that, cover water, you gotta cover water. But that's how you cover water. You, when you find them, you slow down, you wait on swipes or different little things to clue you in that there are fish there and then you slow down and you pick them off. If you wanna see a collab again, I'm happy to run this back with Larry Melton. Um, you just need to go over to his page and blow him up in the comments and say, hey, you know, you need to, you need to go fishing with, with bread again on Be Fishing. Um, outside of that, I'll link his uh, channel in the description if you want to check him out. If you're new over here and you're from his channel, um, because me and him did do a different collab where I pick baits for him at Walmart and he picks baits for me, my part's already filmed. That video is coming very, very soon. I just got to edit it and uh, get it posted. Um, but outside of that, if you're new, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button for me. Leave a comment below on what you thought about it. And uh, as always, to the greatest audience out there, y'all have a good one. We'll catch you on the next one.